walking around the gardens here, a uh, gentleman showed up. Uh, Mike, what was your last name, Mike? Mike Gibson. Mike Gibson. And, and tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, well, I'm the topiary artist in residence. Uh, hired through the McKissick Museum at the University of South Carolina. Perfect. Yeah, they were able to, to secure a grant, uh, the Central Carolina Community Foundations grant, uh, and it was all about connecting communities and how you can help restore this uh, this legacy of Pearl Fryer. And cool. I've been visiting the garden since uh, 2016. I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, and I moved here uh, September 1st, so I've been here for five months now. Wow. And every, everything you see in the garden, and uh, you, if you haven't seen, she's gonna continue to show you, uh, and yeah, this is what I've been able to accomplish. Beautiful. I've uh, been, been in topiary yards for a long time. I've been clipping since I was seven. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. So That's my awesome. He's an artist. He's the one that taught me how to do geometrical shapes uh, on paper and was translated soon into the yard by seven. Wow. Uh, I was able to, to keep up and maintain the geometrical shapes of the topiary he already created. Nice. And I kind of just took off from there and just nice. kept going. Yeah, Very I went to cool. School for fine art at Youngstown State University. And wow. I figured I didn't want to be an art teacher, but I knew I wanted to be an artist. And I just uh, found different mediums. You know, I used to draw with charcoal, acrylic, uh, pen, pencil. I've done a lot of different mediums and I've sculpted with clay a little bit. I got into hairstyling and, 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 <laughs> wow. and cutting designs into to people's hair. Yeah. And, yeah and, and I was saying, and after that, that's when it clicked to, to trees more. I, I, remember I started at seven, but I never stopped. I was always doing different things with trees. I started getting a little bit more abstract and adventurous wow. with designs and kind of got bored of doing those geometrical shapes and started doing more wonkier stuff. And cool. uh, I did a really cool sculpture in, in uh, 2014. I, I was visiting at home and showed my father uh, some of the work I was doing. I called it property art. I felt nobody was doing this. That's nobody cool. Was doing property art. This is <laughs> oh, topiary just it. spirals. Yeah. 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 This yeah. is topiary, but I was I was ignorant to it. I didn't know. I just thought, oh, this people got that in that spiral. So I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna yeah. draw out and sketch out my designs and, and be able to do something brand new that you never saw before. Wow. Uh, yeah, and I showed my father and he immediately <laughs> humbled me and said, Wow, that looks like a pro fryer. I'm like, who's who's, she? who's pro? Oh yeah, yeah. who's yeah. pro fryer? Yeah. He's like, like, no, it's he. Let me show you. Uh, he got on the computer and Googled them and mind blown. Wow, and so you said I have to on. come. Well, yeah, yeah. Actually, it wasn't until two years later I had the opportunity of coming to the garden. Wow. I went on a mission to help beautify my hometown in Youngstown. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Oh, putting gosh. topiary everywhere. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I created, uh, in oh. six years I created, before I moved here, I created 330 topiaries You're all kidding. around Youngstown. Youngstown, Ohio. Youngstown, Ohio, because our area code is 330. So I put 330 oh. topiaries all over the city. We're going to have to visit uh, Youngstown, Ohio. Me, yeah. Well, I tell you, unfortunately, a lot of them are, are going to be up kept because I'm down here. Because you're down here. Uh, it, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's uh, a blessing how it just happened. Literally. That's like cool. I, said, I, I visited in 2016 and finally got a chance to meet the man, the myth, the legend. Nice. The fire. He just was sitting down, his trimmer, and I got a chance to walk the grounds with him for about three hours. Oh, wow. Uh, and just, I mean, he just poured into me. Magical. Unlimited knowledge. How did you do this? Oh, I did, you know, I bind it with PVC pipe and put zip ties. Zip ties? Zip ties? Zip ties. <laughs> zip ties. And you look in some, some have pantyhose on them. <laughs> so been to tie, yeah. Yeah, he would. To maintain the shape. And yeah. did things yeah. how he wanted. Mm -hmm. I, I eventually learned that he got started doing bonsais. And, and when he was stationed in uh, a stint of a tour in Korea while he was serving in the army in the 50s, uh, he got drafted and he had the opportunity to see some beautiful bonsais being created in, in South Korea. It's beautiful. Uh, he fell in love with it in his early 20s but he gets out comes to new york marries his wife metra who was his childhood sweetheart oh who, very they cool both grew up in clinton north carolina and, and had the opportunity of sitting on the bus next to each other that's you cool. know growing up and he said you know if you sit on the bus next to somebody back then oh you go together oh right? yeah <laughs> that's a thing <laughs> if i allow you to sit here yeah, that's it you go together up, yeah. exactly sweet exactly and eventually he gets out of the army moves to new york marries her starts working at the canning plant uh, I believe it was called uh, American Candy Plant or Rexham at the time. They since got a different name, but it was a, a Coca-Cola plant. Okay. And he starts working there for 20 plus years and finally gets the opportunity to relocate to, to Bishopville, South Carolina. That's awesome. They had opened up a plant here, uh, but it's, it's a really cool story how he even ends up here uh, because they didn't want to transfer his job. So he said, oh, okay, I quit. 
uh, he was an engineer. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, he was a, a, a manufacturing engineer, so he helped fix and, and put together the fact this factory. So he's really great with his hands. So all the not only the topiaries you see here. Uh -huh. uh, uh, you're going to see today but the, all the fountains the sculptures all he the did all that mm -hmm. he created all that all the borders around all the uh the islands he created all wow that. He created all of this by himself wow that's wild by himself. so he ends up uh you know quitting moves to atlanta for a year and then they chased him and said yeah, he was too valuable to the company so they want him to come back oh said, right, gotcha you come back to the company you can go to bishopville that's how okay. pearl ended up here in bishopville and I, this would have never been here in New York. They didn't have a yard. He didn't have a house. Uh -huh. That's true. Yeah. Would Pearl Fryer be the Pearl Fryer we know? No. Nope. If he never moved to Michigan? Nope, not at all. You That's know? amazing. Just the little things in your life makes a little turn and, and you I don't know you, why. It yeah. gets even better. You talk yeah. about divine intervention. Yeah. How I ended up here is one thing, but how Pearl started this garden is a whole nother. Yeah. You know, he, he moves down here, buys this cotton field, this this corn and cotton field. This was all flat farmland. Oh, okay. This okay. was nothing here. He bought this land, had the house built. Yeah. Yeah, but he, he was only forced to have to get the house built because he tried to get a house in the neighborhood. In town. In, in town in Bishopville. At the time, this wasn't considered uh, in the city limits. Uh, so he tries to get a house and they deny him and say he wasn't going to upkeep his yard. Yep. You know, they, they oh. told him, that, oh, black people don't keep up their yard. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, you can't have this house in this particular neighborhood. Oh and my gosh. I'm going to show you. <laughs> yeah. I'm show you not just how I can keep up my yard, but I'm going to do something so different, I'm, so unique that I'm going to stand thanks out. Thanks for the push. I'm, I'm going to raise the bar for my neighbor. Yeah. So now that's what Sammy <laughs> said down the road. Right? Yeah, we, we bumped into guy. Sammy <laughs> down the road. <laughs> When you get done, beautiful, go, have you seen it yet? We yeah, did. We drove. We drove by and talked to him. Yeah, a little bit. We did. Yeah, yeah. We did. Yeah, yeah. He's out there doing his thing. We're like, yeah, we're like. Oh, I was gonna say you should see how it is now. Yes. On the documentary, you know, that was shot in. Uh, that was filmed in 2006. Mm -hmm. So he's done a, a lot more. He's all the way down. Yeah. In the back of his yard. He's Very some cool. Really cool stuff. Over yeah, he, yeah. He invited us to come down and take some pictures yeah. when we're done. This so. Like a, this is an extension of Pro. Yeah. He learned from Pro. He came here yeah. and watched this. That's and awesome. He moved here in the 90s. That's awesome. Uh, and, and Pearl started this in 1980. Yeah. And it was already well established by, yeah. by the 90s because uh, how he uh, just ended up getting the Yard of the Month award. So he gets the house built, he hires landscapers and puts uh, trees around the house and uh, fences in the hedgerow. Those are some of the first things that went in. Okay. Uh, the, the kind of block it in mm -hmm. and then he started work on the driveway and he created this mosaic uh driveway it took him about 10 and a half months which is still insane because he did it all by hand yeah in a, wheel, uh, in it's a, a wheelbarrow big driveway and hand placed every single rock to give it this this style artistically so it was constantly changing as you walked around wow uh, that's already <laughs> set some aside right there. Yeah. Nobody has a, a, dry, a roundabout <laughs> driveway knows. like this. Nobody's yeah. spending 10 months on their driveway. I'll tell you, well, then he, he wants to uh, get some more shrubs around the house. So he goes to the local nursery, sees a guy doing the topiary. And that's when the, the bonsai that he learned from when he was stationed in South Korea that's finally clicked. clicked. And now he has the opportunity to, to not only do it from a pot, put that pot in the ground and allow it to foster and grow more. The guy gives him a three minute lesson, kind of tells him, you know, how to take care of a topiary, he sells him a $2 juniper, sends him on his way, <laughs> Pearl comes home, designs that juniper as a bonsai, as he always does. Yeah. And then he just goes to work on the shrubs that was already here. Wow. You know, and he started in the front of the house. There's two hollies on either side of the door of the walkway. Those are the first topiaries he started. On. Okay. And then he, he started going to the right. <laughs> and all the boxwoods that were planted there, he just started forming and shaping them. Said, just I can do this. What about this? Just what about exploded. That? Yeah. And then he just got addicted. He kept going back to the nursery. Instead of buying shrubs, he would get the recycled shrubs that they were throwing yeah, away. Yeah. Wow. Hey, what's going on? Wow. Yeah, I've been visiting since 2016, 20, uh, 2017, 18. I proposed to my wife in That's 2018. That's awesome. And I, I just kept coming back. So I have a, a huge connection with this guard. And I heard that the garden got overgrown in uh, the end of 2020. Pearl's birthday is December, uh, December 8th, uh, uh, December 4th, I'm sorry, December 4th. Okay. And I got, I got on Facebook, everybody says happy birthday. He doesn't even see it though. He doesn't even have a yeah. here. But yeah. It, yeah. You know, it's, it's a, a thing. Community. Yeah, it's a yeah. community. And yeah. you know, everybody says it and somebody had posted some pictures. Uh, recent pictures uh, that the garden was very overgrown. And the oh. grass was so high. I mean, this oh. was like eight, eight feet out. Okay. Know, it was everything was unrecognizable. Uh, so I went on a mission. I said, oh, I gotta get down there. So as soon as the weather breaks, this is winter for us. Yeah. Ohio. Uh, 
Uh, once the weather breaks in March, I'm gonna get down there, plan a trip. Uh, came down here in March, and to my surprise, there was a crew here uh, from out of Florence, uh, Healy Horticulture, were helping to do uh, this hard shearing to get it back in, in the shape. Okay. And I brought my tools, I got my stuff. I'm like, oh, these people? I'm doing, this. I'm doing <laughs> it. Wow. So I get out, I walk around, I got the chance to talk to them to them, and one thing led to another. They told me what they were doing. They were here to restore this garden and prepping it for a topiary artist that they were looking looking for and haven't found yet. Dang, I got hit on my car and my, my car has had a picture of me doing a topiary. Uh, and he's like, wait, you're a topiary artist? <laughs> I'm your guy. <laughs> That's it phenomenal. Looks like you've been looking for me. And, yeah, the stars uh, yeah. did align. It started, yeah, started the conversation and oh, I moved here uh, September 1st. Nice. So. Oh my gosh. Nice. That's the position. That's Divine intervention. That is. That's I tell awesome. you, I, I was thinking my father actually uh, yesterday. Uh, yeah. Ironically, I was like, "Thank you for introducing me yeah. to uh, to yeah. Park. I don't know yeah. where I would be. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, that's I, awesome. Yeah, I continue doing my own topiary. I'm sure I probably would have came across it eventually. Sooner or later. But, uh, no, I became obsessed with topiary that day. From yeah. that day on, I said, "Well, I, that's what I want to be. That's awesome. I want to be a topiary artist. Just, I mean, I was a property artist, but." Now I see that this yeah. yard is, yeah. is a it's thing. A thing. It's a thing. I, I want to be pro this is, fire. That's I awesome. This quest of, of uh, I went to a library after I seen the documentary, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Who Hooked. else is doing this? Hooked. Mind blown. Yeah. yeah so I, I go to the library and I take out any book that mentioned pro fire and mentioned topiary. I want to know yeah. is, is there others? Are there yeah. other pro fires? And I tell you, I've done a lot of research, and there's not another pro fire. Really? There's not a single man, single woman, single person this out there. That has transformed there. Like this. No, oh no. This is not oh, wow. like this. This is straight out of his imagination. Yeah. He didn't yeah. have any training. He yeah. just always knew he was creative and, and great cool. with his hands. That's cool. Uh, he, he said he doesn't, he can't even draw. He said, I'm not an artist uh, uh, by nature, but uh, give me a bush and some steel and I can do something with That's it. That's awesome. Isn't it? That's that is awesome. awesome. Yeah. Just to look at a tree and cool. go, I'm going to fish bone that tree. Yeah, right whatever. <laughs> like, okay. Like, huh? What? I, do that. It's like, I got a ladder. Nobody <laughs> told me I couldn't do this. Yep. I just did it. We heard about this about 15 years ago we watched a documentary yes, called yes. a man called yeah. pearl yeah, we just man stumbled, named pearl yes. stumbled upon it when they were like we're yeah, visiting was blown. we're visiting exactly. friends in the area and we're looking on google and went Holy oh God. no this is the right yeah we said we gotta go oh my gosh <laughs> that's how i ended up here when i visited i was in charlotte north carolina and i said wait a second Charlotte, North, South Carolina. It's yeah, Bishopville's yeah. got to be right there. And it's a straight. It's like right down. there. It's an hour from Charlotte. I said, "Well, I gotta go." I That's gotta awesome. Go go see him. That's okay. awesome. I've been studying his work for the past couple of years. That's I awesome. You gotta see the man. Yeah. I love it. Oh my goodness! And it was so pristine. That's what I want to get. I want to restore that glory. Get it back. Awesome. To it's, thank it's you. Pristine. Yeah. Thank you. And this is and beautiful. It's getting there. There's a lot more. I just started putting down. Some of the uh, the pine straw. Uh -huh. had a really great work day uh, the other day here Good. on Wednesday. I had uh, we had some some great botanical gardens in the state of South Carolina uh, are getting together to help save this garden. As That's well. awesome. But there's a lot there's a lot missing. But yeah, he just kept he kept, kept going, going right. and going. And the dreams going. alive. I love dreams alive. The, uh, the Pearl Fryer uh, scholarship fund he gave to C students. You know, to help out the kids that still want to go to college but won't have the opportunity. Yeah. Because they can't, they don't have the grades. The grades. But, you know, and That's you, gotta, awesome. you really got to compete. You know, yeah. and he would give those kids an award, though. Say, hey, here for your efforts, you still, and they would uh, write an essay and get selected that way. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's so, awesome. Uh, I mean, Very good. so much that Pro is able to do over the years. Very good. So, I'm here to protect that legacy. That's awesome. And hopefully, thank you. Mike will be back here one day too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, well, thank you for all your work that you're thank doing, you. and thank you for your time today too. We really appreciate that. So please, uh, thank you. Around and continue singing. Yeah. We will. Uh, yeah, we we just barely got started, so I know, yeah. Yeah. Just coming yeah. Out, so yeah, you still have a lot more. To see. <laughs> Quite more. Okay. <laughs> awesome. You'll get a chance to see everything once you walk over here. Right. That's, awesome. that's your finale. Uh, walking through the, the juniper, so walk through everything. Go through everything, and then make your way back to the front. Okay, that's your. That's kind of like okay. your finale. Actually. Nice. I love it. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. It's a pleasure.